Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, my name is Tanika. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing the new Designer Brands Get Glowing Pressed Mineral Bronzer. This comes in three shades, two matte and one shimmer, and it retails for $12.99 Australian. If you want to see how this bronzer applies and if it's actually fair skin friendly, then give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. So I have all three shades here. The shimmer shade is called Miami Heat. And then the two mattes, we have Tahiti Tan, which is more on the warmer side. And then we have Barcelona Bronze, which when I opened the package, this caught my eye straight away. As you can see, it's quite a light bronzer and has more of that neutral to cool undertone. So this is the bronzer I'm going to be demoing for you today. All right, well, here is what the packaging looks like. It's quite nice for a drugstore bronzer. A little bulky, but I love that you can see the beautiful embossing through the lid. My favorite bronzing brush is this one here, the Zoeva 126 Luxe Cheek Finish. It's nice and fluffy, so it blends the bronzer out, but as you can see, it does come in and it's tapered, so you can be quite precise with your application. So I just like to go back and forth along the top of my cheekbone here. I'm only using a really light pressure and between the bristles on the brush and the beautiful formula, it blends out so easily. I'm just going to dip into the pan again and apply a little bit more. It's a really buildable bronzer, which I love because it gives you the ability to control how much color you want on your face. Also, because it's so blendable, I find that you don't really have to worry about applying too much or going overboard, and it won't look muddy or patchy at all. So after I've applied the bronzer to this area of my face, I like to use whatever's left on the brush and just bring it down onto my cheek a little further. So this side of my face, I have no bronzer, and this side, I've just applied. So as you can see, it adds just the right amount of warmth to the skin and also just shapes the face. I'm also just going to pop a little bit around my hairline. I am really, really impressed with this shade. It's not very often you find a more cooler tone bronzer available at the drugstore. It's just absolutely perfect for fair skin because it is a lighter shade and it's not very intimidating if you're new to bronzing as well. If you're as fair as me, I would definitely recommend getting the shade Barcelona Bronze. The next shade up, Tahiti Tan, is just a bit too warm. As you can see when I compare them, this one is a lot warmer, so it looks a bit more orange. And that's just not going to work very well on such a fair complexion. Now, the Shimmer Bronzer is actually quite cool. If I compare it to Barcelona Bronze, you can see they do look quite similar. I like to use matte bronzers daily, but if I'm going out or want really glam makeup, I do like to use a bronzer with a little bit of a sheen. So if you also picked up this one, it would be a great topper to just add a little bit on top of your bronzer and give you a bit more of a sheen and a glow. All right, so jumping into some swatches. First up, we have the designer brands in Tahiti Tan, which is the more warmer shade. And then we have my Emmy Heat, which is the shimmer shade. And then this one here is Barcelona Bronze, the one that I use today. Next, I have the Fenty Bronzer in the shade Inda Sun. This here is Benefit Hula Light. Next, I have the Maybelline City Color in the shade Light Cool. Here we have the L'Oreal Back to Bronze. This one is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in Light. Next is the Too Faced Choc Soleil Bronzer. Here we have the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Bali Sands. And lastly, we have the NARS Laguna Bronzer. So if you have any of these bronzers in your collection, you can compare them to the three I have talked about today. Barcelona Bronze is definitely more on the cooler side, but I love it on my fair skin. It's quite similar in tone to the Fenty Bronzer, except the Fenty is just a hint more warm. Overall, I am loving this bronzer. It's a really smooth and blendable formula that's also really buildable, which as I said, I freaking love. With fair skin, you want something that you can just slowly build up so you don't go in overboard and ruin all your hard work. 
If you're as fair as me or maybe one to two shades darker, then I would 110% recommend this bronzer. Leave me a comment down below letting me know if you're going to pick it up or if you've already tried it because I would love to hear what you think about it. All right, well, that is all from me today. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. I recently did a full face testing out designer brands cosmetics. So I will link that video down below for you to go and watch next. I'll also have my Instagram linked down below. And I would love it if you would take a screenshot of you watching this video, post it to your stories and tag me. And I will share you on my Insta stories. All right, well, I hope you're all having a fabulous day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.